Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool OSINT tool which is named as Dhashed. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. And if you guys end up liking this video, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff. So this video is all about Dhash. So Dhash is a website, okay, which consists of all the compromised assets. So compromised assets in the sense like there is something called as a data breach so if i if you ever visited this have i been pwned upon website you can see that this website shows you whether your email or phone is uh, is part of any data breach so data breach is some kind like where the company uh, where like some take a company like google.com and we all know like we give some data like our phone number okay our uh, emails and some addresses and stuff okay let us assume that the google go, uh, google got hacked then there is a high chance that all the data might be get stolen and uh, some uh, black some black hat guy might be selling them on the dark web so that is what simply data breach means like even though it is not our mistake like uh, data breaches happen because it's the issue with the company side so i'm just showing a test website here like hello.gmail.com like you can access this website and you can even check whether your data has been breached or not Okay, like if you can search here, you can see when when it got like breached and you can see what is the uh, data compromised data as well. Like you can see email addresses, names and passwords. Like uh, we cannot see all this information, right? This have I been pawned website like just show you shows you when your data got leaked and where your data got leaked and what is the data that got leaked. Okay, and uh, this is like an OSINT part. Like you, if you got some email, okay, when you're doing some kind of an OSINT something like that, or you got some kind of emails, like you can simply go to this, uh, come to this website and you can search whether this website, uh, whether this email, email or phone number has been pawned. Okay, if it is pawned, like you can go to this something called as dehashed so this tool is exclusively paid guys like you can go to the pricing version and uh, like you can see there is some lot of subscriptions like uh, a week plan a monthly plan and also an annual plan so in order to do more so which i'm not going to show you okay you need to make sure you have any of this like premium plan so once then you can come back to the search and you can simply search here like here you have some lot of fields guys so this is like some kind of like a google search kind of thing like you can click on fields here and you can see if you scroll down a little bit you can see like these are some fields like you can click on email and you can just just put like hello uh, at the rate email.com and you can simply hit search okay uh, you can see that there is some information like breached comp uh, like uh, uh, some sources from lot of a lot of data like from gmail as well some data bridges and something like that like you can simply click over here and you can see what data got leaked here okay so if you can see like uh, like in as an attacker perspective like if you find some kind of like sensitive data like some kind of a password or something like that like while you're doing a pen test you can just use them okay like uh, most of the time people tend to use the same password in the multiple websites so if you like anyhow like if you can simply click over here but it is going to ask you for like you need an active subscription in order to view the search results okay and uh, this is like for a pen tester but if you want to uh, like uh, you are just curious and if you want to uh, like if you find your email or phone number whether it got leaked here you can simply click on a uh, request uh, like entry removal and you can just follow follow the steps below okay so now uh this is uh, one of the things so you can click over there and you can see the passwords or whatever the data that got leaked okay so don't try to use it for something like illegal purposes or something like that like once you're doing a pen test like you can make use of them and like i've seen scenarios i read some kind of like uh, articles where the pen testers like wrote that they got the password of uh, a user through the help of some breached uh, breached data so which they used and they got an initial foothold to the active directory networks or uh, active directory network or something like that okay so that is the cool part like uh, as a pen tester you can use them but uh, if you are looking forward to use this for like uh, uh, for like illegal purpose like scamming or anything like that then it is not going to be good okay and uh, not only the email you have some username like you can put some usernames here like uh, some kind of a username and i also covered few videos on how you can find out the username like 
with the help of the names and also you can search for any ip so you can simply click on an ip address and you can simply search for an ip okay and you can see whether your ip address like you can you can simply go to your google and you can find out your public ip and you can just paste it here and you can see whether your ip got any uh, any time compromised or not okay and also something like addresses like even sometimes the address will be something like a uh, private so sometimes it go it may get leaked so you can mention the address here and this website is going to show you like this simply searches from a lot of websites and tries to find out whether this particular type of data got leaked or not like let us assume you put some address here it is going to check uh, whether this address got leaked somewhere or not okay and uh, you can something like win so vehicle identification number you can scan for a domain you can look for a phone number you can look for uh, address name ip whatever it is okay and then what you can do is like you can just click on that and you can try to catch capture the information okay and then you can try to use it for something like uh, uh what you call like for your pen test like to gain some initial access like this is some kind like an information gathering stage okay and now you may be like satvik i got my data leaked so what should i do okay so this is something like a mitigation part or something like that like this is not re related to like uh, like an attacker perspective like this is for a normal user like once you see your email or phone number like some information got leaked so simply go and search for something called as compromised data okay sometimes uh, the email address like you cannot do anything right you th if this is your personal email like this is a test mail something like that you can do nothing but your ip addresses like even that you can do anything like names also you might not it might not be much sensitive like the passwords and some information like something like you can see physical address here and sometimes a credit card information or your debit card inf information might get leaked so like try to prioritize okay so in those cases like once your data got leaked so try to prioritize so firstly you go with the passwords okay like see if there is a password leak someone can go to a website like this and they can simply click over there and like he can view your password so the ultimate goal for you is like try to change the password and uh, enable something like two factor authentication or multi factor authentication or something like that okay and if there is something like physical address like you can uh, go ahead and you can remove your account from there or something like that and if there is something like a credit card information or something like that try to block your credit card and like apply for a new credit card or something like that okay like we all know credit card if, if a credit card gets leaked like there are numerous websites where uh, most of the time credit card doesn't ask for an otp or anything like that okay so prioritize okay so once your data gets leaked try to prioritize on what data is really important to you and uh, try to like uh, uh, like look for some alternatives okay and that is it guys for this video this is going to be a short video but like this is going to be informative like for both the attacker as well as some kind of a defender kind of thing so if you feel that uh, like even in some pen test like if the blue team you generally checks this stuff like they go and check for your breach data and they'll update you okay if you're an employee of any company your company's blue team will help you in this stuff like they'll monitor all this stuff and they'll try to like uh uh, they'll try to notify you that your data got leaked and try to change it okay so something like that okay so this uh these uh, tools like uh have i been pawned is like everyone everyone know that but this dhash tool is like uh, both the red red teamers as well as the blue teamers tool so guys like this is all for this video like if you really end up liking this video uh, make sure you uh, do like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.